y'all this post-covid fatigue ain't no joke but i keep this by my bedside now so when i'm thirsty during the night it's always there <music> the bed folded back for a while because it's best to wait and let your sheets air out because they get moisture during the night so it's best to wait a little bit time to iron my clothes should have done this last night So I told you all in a previous video that I would let you know how this iron performs. I'm still loving it. It's still working great. It's a Black & Decker. It's an even steam and I love it. I really love this St. Ives Radiant Skin Scrub. I like the apricot better though, but this is really good. And I love this vitamin C collagen too. I do not like a messy house or a messy bedroom and I definitely have to make up my bed every morning. My mother used to tell us make up your bed so you can see your way. So we made up our beds first all the time then straightened up our rooms. The bed was like a focal point. It's like if you get that made you can tackle the rest pretty quick. So I always do that and I love a clean house before I leave. It's just like when you come back home, you do not want a messy house. It's like a list. You look around, there's a list of everything that needs to be done. So if I'm gone a good amount of time, I want a clean house when I get back so I don't have a lot to do. And it's just a nice feeling to come home to a clean house. y'all we are loving these smart mouth products they keep your breath fresh and your teeth clean y'all the people over at the coldest water bottle they were too kind to send me this y'all i take this every well <laughs> it is double wall insulated so it keeps your drink cold like i always say uh, but I, I don't know i just cannot say enough y'all get you one christmas is coming up uh people in your family that you know are on the go all the time or not even on the go just around the house i take it around the house with me uh if you go to the gym if you're going you know walking running whatever this will keep you hydrated so I'll ask you this question. When is the last time? Hey guys, I am on my way to a new doctor. Not that my other one was bad. If y'all been with me any amount of time, y'all know I've been, I looked for a doctor, found one that was new. Um, she was 
I don't know, maybe a year or two out of medical school. I'm not sure, but I know she trained under somebody good, but I just prefer someone older. She was like in her, I believe, late 20s, you know, and just getting out of medical school or whatever and residency or, or whatever, but she was new. And um, the new doctor that I found, she is a little older than me. I think she's 54. And I just, not to, you know, to minimize anybody's education, training, or anything. And, you know, sometimes even if you go to someone older, they might not be the best either. But what I did do was I went on um, Google and a couple of people gave me, you know, suggestions and I checked them out and stuff and you know sometimes you go with people's suggestions and then sometimes you kind of find something else and go on your own just weighing the options so I went on Google and saw her star rating and like I did you know I checked out you know all the ones that people suggested to me and this lady had like rave reviews I just pray that she's as good as her reviews um, they're supposed to be verified ratings so hoping so hope she's nice me and Jalen have the same doctor Jalen has already gone to her and she said she was nice um, so I'm excited and I will take y'all along with me today because I have a couple other stops to make but I'll take y'all along I'm listening to one of my favorite Charles Stanley he is so I love his speaking uh, so I'm listening to him and um, I don't have nothing to jaw Jake about this morning. Um, oh, I do have one thing. Did you all see that show called Queens? Um, it has um, Moesha, Eve, and two other ladies in it. But they're supposed to be like a girls rap group from like 2001. They were famous in like 2001. And then um, 20 years later... They, they're going back out touring or you know whatever get, getting back out there for different various reasons in their life one is has an alternate lifestyle I say that <laughs> and then one is a, you know older much got five kids now married husband has just been found cheating on her um, one is just she's real bougie and like she's just too much for them she thinks and she's above them rather and the other one, oh, the other one, oh, is Moesha's character. She's a single mother, but I think the child was raised by her mother. And she didn't have too much to do with her growing up. Not on purpose, rather, but kind of, she was chasing her dream. And uh, I don't care for that show, y'all. What do y'all think? Whoever's seen it, it's on uh, AB. Mm. CBS or ABC comes on Tuesday nights and uh, at 10 o'clock and it came on like right after The Bachelorette and I'm looking at that show I seen the previews I was like <laughs> and I saw it I'm like oh my gosh I just hate to see women depicted like that nowadays and especially y'all with our culture I know I have a, a varied of audience I know but I hate to see black women portrayed in certain ways because we already have a bad rap overall. And then nowadays with all of these, um, you know, they don't do videos, I don't think, as much as they used to. But video vixens, if you will, and all this stuff you see on like the Instagrams and this and that. And I know it, it goes on, on a lot of different races and ethnicities and stuff, but... You know, I, I surely hate to see my own portrayed that way. Um, and they, I mean, just hmm. so y'all, let me know what y'all think. I just I don't like to see our women depicted like that. Women overall, period. And uh, it just looks bad to me. And just all the all the stuff that's in it, all the validity, <laughs> everything. On regular TV, I would have assumed that this would have been... I thought it was going to be on Hulu. I thought they was going to do like one episode on regular TV and then stream it on Hulu or something. But it's on regular TV. I said, I'm going to have to write in and complain. I, <laughs> my kids, my husband be laughing at me all the time because I will write a letter. 
Oh my goodness. But um, yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think of that. And um, if there's any other good shows, let me know if y'all have any recommendations for good shows. Um, I have two that I watch already. I love Married at First Sight. And y'all know still, I would have a love and hate relationship with Love and Marriage Huntsville. <laughs> um, and is that about all? Oh, and then I, I watch a lot of Food Network. And sometimes, because I just be like, you know what, forget it. I'm just going to watch Food Network and be safe. And then also, I watch a lot of YouTube. That's what I mostly watch. I just have my favorites on YouTube that I watch. And yeah, go from there. So y'all let me know if there's some, some good shows. Oh, I do like The Equalizer with Queen Latifah on Sunday nights. She's good. And uh, I don't, but I don't really have like other regular shows. I love C and I have to finish that. The season is already over with. You know, it's on um, it's an Amazon Prime. I believe it is. But you know how they like plop a season down or whatever. I didn't, I didn't see it when it was coming out. So I'm going to have to go back and kind of binge watch the season. I think it's like seven episodes, not a whole bunch. And I've lost track kind of of, uh, oh, is it, is it called Queen? Oh, The Crown. I love that about the royal family. Um, so I need to catch up on that. I have a little bit more free time. I'm trying to free my time up, y'all. But let me know if there's anything good and not all crazy and everything. Let me know uh, what y'all think of some of those shows if you've seen them. And let me know if there are some shows that y'all like to watch. All right, well, let me pay attention to the room and listen to Chuck to the Charles Stanley. I'll be back later, y'all. Trust him. Don't try to force his hand and say, well, if you loved me, you'd have given me this. Hey guys, so I do not know what happened to my audio in this clip. I believe my phone was hooked up to the aux cord, so didn't get the volume. But anyway, I believe I know what I was talking about. <laughs> so I just come out of my doctor's appointment and I was trying to tell you all what happened and what she said. So I had issues with still having like joint and muscle flesh pain, if you will. And she said a lot of people have been coming in with that after COVID and it's normal. And also I got a blood test. Uh, they always, of course, test your blood when you're a new patient. And I wanted to know what my antibodies were for COVID. Because after you have COVID, sometimes you can have that, those antibodies, antibodies, I'm sorry, that fight, help fight COVID for like five to seven months. So I wanted to know what my levels were. So I got that done. And also she told me that um, I needed an EKG. And I'm like, I don't want to, you know, what do I need an EKG for? I think my heart is fine. And she said, well, people come in with inflammation and a lot of things um, like just you know, I had the joint pain and the, the the muscle pain and all that. I have inflammation in my body from COVID. And she said that sometimes your heart or different things can get inflamed too. And so because I was having a little bit of respiratory issues, she said, I need to get an EKG to check my heart and make sure it's not, you know, inflamed because sometimes that's an issue with COVID patients. So she said, I don't force anybody to, you know, get anything done that they don't want to, but just to let you know, um, because if something ever happened and we missed that opportunity to test you, you know, that wouldn't be good. So I told her, okay, we'll go ahead and do it. So yeah, I really liked her. She seemed very knowledgeable. I was able to ask questions. She answered me and then she asked questions of me also. Um, so there was a good exchange of information and sh her teaching me things about, you know, what she learned about COVID so far. And she said that they don't have anything mapped out, of course, because this is still new for everybody. But she was telling me even with my smelling and uh, taste buds that it's good to go ahead and do some of the therapies that you may see out there, like the smelling of the coffees, the, I forget what it's called, but I'll try to write it down here below, but the smelling of the coffee beans, uh, cloves, 
lemon, eucalyptus, you know, more of the vibrant scents to try to get things stirred up. So, um, yeah, she gave me a lot of information and I'll get my test results in a few days. Anywho, let's get on in here to Target. I got an umbrella to look for and a wallet. So let's see what we can find. Let me get me some of this water though before I go in. I am so happy y'all that I brought this water bottle with me because like I said, they do not have the water fountains working in the malls, in the stores and stuff like that. I haven't seen any anyway. So um, I like to take my water with me in the car and y'all know my little trusty coldest water bottle. I am loving this still. stays cold and I'm just loving it I'm so excited about this thing I just cannot tell y'all so I'll put this the link to this if y'all are interested I will put it down below keeps your water cold for up to 36 hours and it truly honestly does because I tested it out and yeah they come in different colors too so many different colors but anyway the link is down in the this the, blah, 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 blah. the link is down in the description box below this video. Anyway, let's get into TJ Maxx. goodness now I can't turn I knew I should have went to McDonald's I knew I should have went to McDonald's oh my goodness it was hard to get in here and now they're only doing certain ah, now I gotta turn all the way around Jesus help me so they're doing y'all yeah, heard what they said um Wong Wendy's. You know how usually we in a rush or whatever you run into McDonald's. I just wanted, you know, something. I just wanted Wendy's. And uh, I was going to get a faux for faux. And they are only taking DoorDash and I guess mobile orders. I think that's what they said. <laughs> Who does that? You drive up to get service and they're only doing I've never heard of that at, at the drive throughs and at the restaurants. They turn your service away because they're only doing, aren't you supposed to, you know what? They probably don't have enough uh, employees. That is probably what that is. Woo. So I'm going to roll on the McDonald's. That's where I should have been going in the first place. And uh, I have to take Isaiah to practice now. Just found that out. 
and it's 227 I need to pick him up at 3 o'clock and uh, get him to practice which is on the other side of town so basically I have to ooh, I have to go towards home pick him up come way back out this way again oh man it's raining he's gonna be hungry I need to get something for dinner I had planned to this just threw a monkey wrench in my plans that's all but I'm gonna get through it so here we go so McDonald's is packed McDonald's is packed I'm starving um, I should have gotten the McRib because I've never I have never ever ever tasted the McRib sandwich and I've always wanted to but I don't feel like tasting any I don't feel like being surprised today if I don't like it because I didn't eat breakfast or anything so um, I'm very hungry and um, yeah I got a lot to do I've got I need to try to swing by all these if I can before I pick Isaiah up um, I'm hoping we have a couple of tomatoes in the garden I'd rather that than to have to run to Kroger's and get some because we're at the very end right now with our garden uh, it's getting into West fall and um, there's not a lot of tomatoes left but I know we got one good one at home in the house but I'm hoping we have a couple on the vine I can just go and pick those out and because we're gonna have some tacos tonight it is Thursday so if we have tacos and I make enough for tonight then we can have tacos mm, tomorrow and possibly Saturday. My husband loves tacos. There are certain, he loves leftovers, so he, but he only can two days is like getting towards his max. And yeah, two days about his max. He don't like to eat stuff over and over and over again. So, but he loves tacos. So if I make them today have some for tomorrow also and I don't too much care for cooking on Saturday because we're usually out and about and doing something and Saturday is just to me a free day and uh, so I probably will not be trying to cook so I'm gonna try to make enough for Saturday and uh, Jalen I think she'll be gone out and so we'll see we'll see about Saturday uh, and then but I will try to make something on, oh Jesus, help me, for Sunday. I'll try to do something kind of quick. I don't like to cook on Sunday either. I really don't. So I'll try to cook something quick on Saturday, even though I don't want to cook on Saturday. And maybe I'll cook something tomorrow, which is Friday, and I'll have it ready for Sunday. So we'll see how that works out. So even though McDonald's was not my first choice, I went ahead and got it. Of course, it's the Old Faithful and Dependable. Got the double cheeseburger fries, and of course, I got my water, y'all. I didn't want to get a drink. I love McDonald's orange drink, the high sea orange. Oh my goodness, but I'm going to have something to drink later with my tacos or whatever, so I'll just get water for now. Split second, about to leave out and take Isaiah to practice. They have indoor practice. And so TJ Maxx, I'll show you my small little haul, TJ Maxx. But I got this beautiful bag. And it is from Alyssa. It's my daughter in law's name. But um, yeah, so cute. It was $24.99. So I really, really love it. It's compartment in the back and then one big one in the middle. And it also has some pockets on the side. Got my new umbrella. Didn't find blue. Didn't find navy blue. They had black. So got that. That was $9.99. I got a um, Margot or Mar yeah, Margot. Margo wallet and it was $19.99. I 
So nothing fancy, but it has a pocket on the back. At first I wanted to get a real big one, but I said a slender one is better. I don't need to put a whole bunch in it anyway. Then I got some these cream egg color pants to go with that one sweater that I showed y'all. And then I have this bag bungee for when you're traveling. It keeps a bag up on top of your suitcase. I got a plaid shirt for myself, $14.99. And then some OPI in um, Stop It, I'm Blushing. And then some OPI again, and the color is Give Me a Little Kiss. So that was my small little haul. So now, I'm off to take Isaiah to practice. So you guys, I just stopped by the store called Murray's Brothers. I don't know if this was called Minjas. I used to go to an old timey store with my mother when I was little, it's called Minjas. But um, I just saw one called Murray's Brothers and it had all the old timey candy in the cases that they had to, you know, scoop out and give you. And oh, it just reminded me of my mother. So I stopped by and got some candy. And I know I'm not supposed to be, I know I'm not supposed to be eating all that, but just for nostalgia's sake, I got it. Um, I got like just $2 worth of chocolate covered peanuts and three dollars worth of turtles so it wasn't much because nowadays that don't get you hardly nothing and i didn't need a lot so i just you know got it just for memory's sake and of course to enjoy a little chocolate <laughs> but i can't taste worth of nothing I, i'm decent i'm on like 30 25 percent today 20 25 percent taste buds today so i'm tasting a little something something but it's more so for nostalgia <music> So Isaiah reminds me of one of them grumpy old men that's really sweet, but you have to dig for it. <laughs> so I kind of bribed him a little to get on camera, but he was telling me about how practice was and probably wishing about this time that I would turn off the camera because he really doesn't like to be on camera too much, but <laughs> he indulged mama a little bit. Hey guys, so um it is too late it is 6 15 and even though i could cook it would be late by the time i defrosted the meat i went to aldi's near where we were um they did not have the ground turkey and um the other things i will have to go there and get one thing from kroger's and it's just too much so we are going to get chipotle We're gonna get Chipotle, and uh, so we can eat quicker and um, just get ready for the next day, prepare for the next day. Isaiah has homework. So we're gonna get going. I'll take you in Chipotle with us. Fall out the chair. Be sweet, Isaiah. <laughs> you know he don't like too much, Jalen. <laughs> Sorry, <not good>, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just stop. This is my favorite little brother. I'm her only little brother. Mm -hmm. Stop touching my stomach. It's weird. Are you ready? 
get married or something. Oh, okay, man. Okay. They don't be trying to talk about that. Can you just can start eating? Y'all get y'all food and open it up. So Isaiah hurried and ate his, and he's gone to do his homework because he has a lot to do. Jalen gets a tortilla in the bowl with chicken, tomatoes, no beans, mm. stuff. <laughs> Mr. Me and him get the same thing, except he gets a tortilla in the bowl. Um, with He gets peppers on his, plus everything else. I get um, rice, both beans, tomato salsa, chicken, and I think that was barbacoa or the, I can't remember which one, one that was real saucy though. Um, cheese, sour cream, mild salsa, corn, and lettuce. And then I get chips and extra tomatoes and I have eliminate.